Alright. So, took the seat off, trike. Um, I had a mess around trying to find out how I'm going to mount the uh, fenders. So what I did was I cut, uh, I'm going to make a frame. gonna sit on top so instead of cutting this piece off like I said I previously would I decided uh, I don't need that much um, room actually so I'm gonna weld that piece onto here you go across and it'll give me a side piece here also and I can do a down brace if I need it for the bench seat to sit on top of um, but what I did is it's gonna come out further um, and that'll coincide to the very back of the uh, bench seat so the body work when I come up here it'll attach okay. so the body work will come up and attach to the bottom of the bench seat and bolt right into the frame be nice and rigid and actually help hold this back end too um, what I'm gonna do let me get the pieces for you real quick right here so I cut these two so we're gonna put uh, one it's gonna sit like this right it in just like that and then I can uh, weld it to this piece and like I said I'm gonna do a bracket from here to here I'll make a bracket that'll come up and weld it right on this face all the way over nice big heavy piece of metal um, let's see what I have Sorry, camera and then the other one will bolt into this frame and I can weld it to that piece if needed right here Sorry. Right? So I can bolt it in to that upright and weld if needed. And that one will come here. So it'll be a plate between those two. And I think that's gonna be enough. Plus the metal work that's on. Hold on this down. Plus the metal work will all be welded. And as I said, that'll connect in underneath. So I think that should be plenty of uh, strength for the fenders. So let me um I forgot to clear the metal here. So let me let me clean the metal off here, and I got a uh, bust out the welder. I haven't welded in a while, so we'll see. All right, I fixed the uh, length on those. So now we're at the right uh, right distance from where the front of the bench seat will be to the back, and that'll line up. See see the idea better now. So where the uh, metal from the fender will come up, and I can form it to meet up with this, and then it can bolt in when it's done, and then I can put the seat on. Right, and then I can access from this front panel right here, and then that panel will go on when it's all done. So I can mount everything, then we'll have full access, then put the seat on, mount it from the bottom, and then get to go. Right, and we get the kids from school I'm right back. All right, I changed the resolution and stuff. I'm trying to get rid of that fisheye. So let's see how this looks. No, I'm trying to get rid of it. I had it in wide. I wanted to go to like, I went to medium view but I couldn't get it in 4K, so I switched to like uh, 2.7K. 2.7K, 50, uh, 60 frames per second at a medium zoom. There's that log thing I made right there. I won't get it if you don't want me to. That might look better. Okay, cool. All right, so let me give you a rundown here. So I just laid the frame in. I'm gonna tape it into place. Um, so I'll be just sitting here. I think I need more support here. So I might do a angled bracket from here to this upright, right there, right? So from here down to there, and we'll see what we come up with doing that. So I'm going to, I'm gonna get rid of this piece right here. So I was like, I gotta add, I want more stability in this uh, corner. So what I'm gonna do is get rid of this piece and replace it with this one. It's a big boy right here. All right, I'm gonna have to buy some drill bits, all mine are garbage. All right, basically that'll replace this one and that'll come all the way. Ugh. And then I can, uh, you know, cause I want this to be really strong, but especially if I'm gonna be mounting, um, you know, that metal work from the fender to it. 
Um, I think it's a good move. And then I'm also gonna replace these uprights from the from the truck. Um, I have a really big piece of L angle uh, line like this. It's even longer and thicker. So I'll do uprights with that. And I might replace that bar down on the bottom just to beef everything up. All right, cool. Let's get at it. I'm gonna go cut it now. Over this way, right there. That's uh, it's working pretty good. Man, yeah. The hand says, it. "Keep creating, people." <laughs> All right. So I got the fender in where it'll go, and then I'm just playing with uh, cardboard to figure out the new design. Um, so cool. I guess I'll do some. Uh, Stock footage here, so you can just kind of boringly see me do that. All right, please. All right, here we go. So this is where I want to mount the fender. When, it, when it, uh, you know, the bench sheet will be here, and that's where I want to mount the fender. That's what I'll do. Goes my tape. Once I shape the metal, which actually shouldn't be too bad, just to follow the same contour as the fender around, right? And then this will come down. And I can just weld that there, right? So that'll become one piece. And then obviously that upright is where I can drill the holes. And it can mount it right in there. That's just gonna make this whole thing solid. Plus you'll have the two racks. So, all right, let's uh, play with our design here. And I might have to put, oh, I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna have to, not might, I'll put a hole through here if I wanna do the bumper to run it to where the shock tower is. So I may just come up higher here um, and see how that, like, I don't know. Have to just kind of slope it in. I don't know how that would look. Probably have to like bring up more, right? Because it's pretty close to the top of the exhaust where that uh, bar we're going. I'm going to order it tonight. Um, get that bumper in so I can get a better idea so I can start this metal work soon. So I'm going to order it. Right, so it could be that. But for right now, we're just going to do this shape that and then if we do have to cut this I'll get a better idea if I want to do a full hole through it you know and obviously you mount this in then I can put the bumper bracket through and then obviously it'll attach to the uh, shock so cool um, all right I'm gonna cut that out step back more I'm gonna see if uh, see if I should extend this down more and really get that down low so don't forget the uh, brake light is gonna be like right here uh, I'm gonna have to find make sure I mount that in the center of it right? original center is here but I think that would look weird if the light is over there so I'm just gonna have to center that out and then completely do it, but that's fine. You gotta do it right, so do it as many times as I need to until I like it. So, okay, let's take a look how, uh, how we like that. Yeah, yeah, all right. So, I gotta get these in out of the way so I can uh, do some cardboard work on the side um, and then figure out the right. stuff here. Oh, there's the, uh, threw the seat on real quick, just so I can see how it'll look. Um, I think I'm liking it. I want to refine the side here with the fender a little bit more. Um, and it's a big space, so I don't know. I can put some holes in them or something. That might look kind of cool. Um, but pretty sure I want the tire exposed like that, so I'm going to consider that a win. Um, threw the speaker box, one of them in, just see how it looks, right? So all that all right this right here is the toughest part figuring out this 
where the torsion bar cover is, so how that's going to blend into there. There it is. Still working on uh, the front. I was able to get the front shock off and the headlight, but I can't. I can't get this Allen wrench. I can't get them. Um, but I cut them off. See you later. So I want to get this off. Buy a bench grinder with a polisher and stop polishing this. Um, like I said, keep getting progress. I'm going to order the metal for this now that I really have an idea of where I'm going. I know how the fenders are going to mount now, so that's pretty exciting. Um, again, as I said um, in the video, that's where the bolts will go. And then all this will just be all one piece. So once all that's bolted in, that's going to be pretty solid. And it'll have the two uh, braces underneath that'll hold it. So that's one like right about here that'll mount underneath. And one about here um, that'll be underneath and do that plate. Um, I think I want to make it removable. So I don't know if that tire will go um, in or out with it um, hard locked into place. Um, and I certainly won't be able to get the motor out if it's not removable. So like I said, just pretty much just set it there. It has to be removable. But I think if I make all this all welded, all one piece, all one piece, like this can even bolt into the frame underneath here and then I'm no longer worried about the fenders moving that was one of my big concerns so cool is the update I'm still working on it get some progress it's kind of exciting so that, uh, bumper tonight and then I'll have an idea where the holes have to go all right as always keep creating people because I know I'm gonna and y'all have a good night all right all right bye